you know, that. yes, we were trying to dress like SCBD, but not uh, that SCBD district. No, no. This one is Sudirman, Chitayam, Bojonggede, and Depok teenagers. Mm -hmm. uh, the things that is uh, really viral right now. Right. And then, and who have recently soared in popularity on social media? And to be a bit fair, I want to invite our guests for today to rate our style <laughs> first and maybe our walk. Please welcome our fashion editor and consultant, Ion Ahmad. Mas Ion! Hello! Hello. 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 You can do some runway as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have the runway. You have to do a runway too. Oh, no. Yeah. So that is His fashion actually, actually already in inspired us for being um, yeah. more SCBD. I, I, I like you. your outfit. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, uh, they they quite a lot uh, inspiring, of yeah. course, yes. Mm -hmm. But before before we start our discussion, yes. can you rate our fashion today? Oh, this, okay, this one, this, what, what, what? Uh, you guys okay, look okay. like uh, quite professional, see? Oh, really? You cannot compare to them. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is... So, uh, okay, let's rate it from here. From my mm -hmm. side. Okay, I think it's like one of ten. One, 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 one to of, ten. Yeah, one to yes. ten, yeah. Yes. Okay, I can rate this uh, because the color is like very coordinate, mm. green. Like Vibrant military, too. yeah, military style with a green color, mm -hmm. uh, maybe like A, yeah. A? Yeah. Oh, well done, Yanni. Thank well you. done. Thank That's you. not bad. And what and then, about me? Uh, it's like yeah. a little, little bit uh, earth tone, yeah. A little bit. Yes, earth It's tone. more uh, 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 khaki, color, camel. Mm -hmm. maybe, uh, yeah, I can give an uh, egg and. 8.5. I'm trying to be one of the Chitayam uh, boys. So what <laughs> I'm using this one because I, I, I watched one of the videos from the TikToks and okay. then and they yeah, wore he, the he used Thai. Uh, what, what's this for? <laughs> I don't know. I what's just want to. Oh my just the <laughs> ornament. <laughs> ornament. For yeah. the, for being, the clothes, uh, yeah. being a queer kid at the same time. Okay. Right? According to. Because the tie is not uh, supposed to wear with the with t shirt. Yeah, yeah. And it's, 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 maybe it's like the. More uh, for the statement, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's pink uh, with 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 a gray color. Uh, pink with gray is also very match. Yeah, mm. uh, yeah, I can give you like also a. Oh, wow. wow, not bad. Best I like I like color. the hat though. The yeah, hat yeah, is yeah. nice. Yeah. I like nice the hat. <laughs> we are so ready for some tea time fashion okay. week. Huh? That's right. Yes. All I, right. Think, I think after this we have to go there. Let's. Okay. <laughs> so let's sit down let's. first before mm -hmm. we discuss the tea time fashion week phenomenon. First of all, I heard you just returned from Paris. Oh, that's why you're looking so fine. Yeah, Look at it. So you, yes. you just returned from Paris to attend a menswear event. Um, can you yes. tell us more about it? Well, uh, well, I just yeah, I'm back uh, from Paris for the uh, menswear fashion week because it's a different season for women's mm -hmm. wear and menswear. So menswear is like supposed to be on June and January, mm -hmm. and women's for uh, for women's it's March and September in Paris. So I just back from 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 Paris last week for mm -hmm. for the for the menswear yeah. fashion week. So it's very interesting, yeah. and also not also an interesting on the runway, but mm. also on the street. Street fashion. Street fashion Streetwear. Yeah. Wow. Well, if you can so. compare PFW <laughs> with CFW, <laughs> the time fashion week, how so far it's is not, it? So it's not totally different because I heard the news like uh, when I when I was back in in, in Paris. So mm -hmm. it's like oh, it's very interesting. Of mm. course, it's very interesting. I mean, like they have a very different uh, perspective about about how they express mm -hmm. themselves with mm -hmm. with clothes. Yeah, and then and then I just thought that there's so many. Uh, uh, video viral on the TikTok and, mm. and Instagram and many 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 social media. So for me, it's like it's very interesting. Yes. Yeah, it's more like a street fashion, don't you? Yes, think? it's it's a very street fashion. Mm -hmm. It's a very street fashion because they born on the street. Yeah. They born on the street. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, you might have seen some of the teenagers who hang out and show off their outfits. And yes in Sudirman, right? Yes. Or SCBD area. Yes. What's your opinion about them? I mean, do you think that this fashion can actually, uh, can be a high level kind of fashion, maybe like Harajuku in Japan, ah. and some said that this is like a, like a new culture among the youth, like youth culture. What, what's your opinion? Uh, my opinion, personally, it, uh, first, it's a very interesting, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very positive, from the from the next generation for the from uh, the young generation of course mm -hmm. and they are very organic very organic i mean like they they must be some they, they must be see someone mm. 
uh, playing around on the street with yeah. the, with 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 the clothes, and mm -hmm. then that's why they 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 looking where 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 is the place I can found, yeah. and then I can express myself and deliver to the people how what image that I want to mm. to people uh, see me, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. So uh, for me, it's very positive. For me, it's very positive, and um, uh, it's a new it's a new. Uh, Totally a new, uh, what you call it? It's like a new phenomena. Phenomena, yeah. It's and then, phenomenon. and then it's gonna be a new culture also in Jakarta. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's totally a new culture because, I mean, like we all, Jakarta also, I mean, like already have this like kind of uh, phenomena like in nineties. In, uh, in the nineties. The Blaue you're talking yes, about? Yes, of course. Ah. But it's, it's totally different. <laughs> we had one before, yeah. Yes, <laughs> it was in yes. Blaue, yeah. Yes, but it's totally a different. Um, Crowd, of course, yeah. totally different crowd and totally different, uh, uh, different image. What they want to, to, to appear to on the, on the public because that time there was no Instagram, no social media, yeah, right? right? So that's, right. that's why uh, this time because they have uh, the social media and everything, like they 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 got information from everything, uh, mm. and they want to express uh, that that look on the street and also on the social media and how they act also like, I mean like, it's, I think it's also um, influenced by the uh, Korean or K-pop trend. I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, now before we continue our discussion, we're gonna have a live report first. Yes, from the location, uh, okay. Leon. From nice. location. We have a reporter there, Good. now yes. in SCBD, okay. the Sudirman Chitayam Depok and Bojong Bojong. Let's see. <laughs> So let's see what's happened uh, in the real time right now there. Uh, yep. How's the crowd right now? So please, Arya, tell us the latest. Oh, is he busy doing some fashion show or yeah. something? Yeah. Arya, where are you? There, are you. Oh, there, there he is. You guys are He's trying. looking extremely yeah. fabulous there back yeah. in the studio. As Thank you. you. I am also dressed to impress. And of course, um, I don't know if this is fashion forward enough for the crowd here. But if it is, then shout out to our wardrobe department. Yeah. So yeah, this is Chitayam Fashion Show. So what started as just a group of kids hanging out, expressing themselves here in uh, nearby, nearby the Karasudurman train station uh, has sparked now a now nationwide debate on the use of, and also the lack thereof, of public space. So for the past few weeks, this space here nearby the Karasudurman uh, train station has been dubbed SJBD or Sudirman Chitayam Bojonggede Depok, which is obviously a play on the actual SJBD, that is the Sudirman Central Business District. The, the SJBD moniker derives from the uh, towns that are situated in the outskirts of the Jakarta greater area of which these kids um, originate from. So, obviously, um, even now, as you can see, the Crowds are still here despite sunset, and it's very, very much alive. It's very lively here. Um, but that has caused quite a bit of stir, actually, in the community. There have been some that have called for the gatherings to stop, or at least be put a curfew for when these kids uh, can still stay out here. However, uh, and some of that sentiment uh, came from the police, of course. Although, as of now, the police has assured everyone that the kids are allowed to just stay as long as they don't vandalize any public property and they don't litter. So, so far right now, the kids, they're in the clear. Meanwhile, though, others have been quite sympathetic to the kids um, and actually have been very supportive, saying that these kids are simply doing what kids do, which is expressing themselves and also just having fun. Now, um, they're also having fun in just one of the few places that they can do so without spending too much money. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the crowd is very riled up here. Now, some notable politician, uh, politicians and public figures have also rallied behind these kids. Um, for example, Jakarta Governor Anis Baswedan, as well as West Java Governor Ridwan Kamil, have both partaken in photo opportunities in the catwalk, the, the catwalk behind me, where a lot of people have been taking these photo opportunities. Uh, as well as Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy, Sandiaga Uno, have also expressed his support, saying that any, these kids have a, have a knack for promotion and advertising the local tourism 
and he expressed that he wished to give these kids scholarships to hone their skills. Now, of course, even uh, professional models have also joined in on the fun, such as Valerie and Veronica, the twins from Asia's Next Top Model, as well as Indonesia's Next Top Model runner-up, uh, Ms. Defina Berta. So the time fashion show phenomenon has sparked, as I've said, some very fierce conversation on the user's public space. Um, so, but this little spot in South Jakarta repre represents the few places uh, in the city where, with accessibility in mind as it's within walking distance from the nearby train station. It also has lots of shade and it's free, and more importantly, it's free to the public, as that's very important for these kids. The kids here are basically, this, is, um, this movement is basically telling public officials and city planners that this is the direction that they want cities to go to in the future, uh, it, which is places that are more open, more accessible, more pedestrian friendly, and honestly, I couldn't agree more. Back to you guys. Okay. Aria, thank, right. thank you very much. And I like your fashion item oh. there that you wore. I mean, yes. it, he, he made a very good point that this is uh, what they want, yeah. use what they want, they need the place, and yes. they need something that is quite affordable, right? Yes. Yes. And it's free, and they're not wearing something that very expensive. No. Yes, Somet exactly. Sometimes they borrow from others or even bought, for, bought it for a very cheap price. Exactly, that's why I said it's very organic. And I mean, like, they, they shop, like, on thrifting. Yes. Maybe, like, on the, uh, borrow their friend's outfit or, or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I said it's very organic, and they, they, they are really uh, creative. Yes. And, the, and then I see this like, uh, because this bunch of kids, mm -hmm. they want to look different mm. than other. So they have to be more and more yes. creative than others. Yes, that. they don't want to look the same yeah. Yeah. To, the, uh, to, to, the, to, to the, their friends or who, whoever it is. Mm -hmm. So they, they want to express the, the, the character, outfit and everything. So I mean like in... Indonesia, of course, it's, it's, it's good, it's yeah. good, because in Indonesia right now, not right now, I mean like a few years back, mm -hmm. it's like everyone wants to look the same. Oh. You know, it's like, if you wear that, I wear that. Mainstream. Same mainstream, style. you know, they, they don't want to look mainstream. These kids don't want to look mainstream. Yeah. So they want to look different to the other people, and they have uh, the attitude and everything, so it's like they know how to express mm -hmm. with the clothes. Wow. Right. Wow. So, Yon. We still have a lot of questions for you, of but course. I think we have to, uh, we need a break for now. We're yep. going for a quick break, but we will still gonna talking about Chi Time Fashion Week mm -hmm. with Yon Ahmad. So please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned on the Three Hour New Show. Stay see the tuned. stories. Stay tuned. Hello again, and welcome back to the See the Stories, the signature segment of the Three Hour New Show, where we're still talking about the Chi Time Fashion Show viral phenomenon. And now let's have a closer look at the facts behind the trend. Back again with. Mas Ion or Ion. So, how do you think? Maybe, maybe you have a question yeah. that you wanted to yeah. ask. Ion. Go ahead. Go I ahead. really Go ahead. Uh, have uh, two questions at least. Okay. You have observed uh, the uh, latest visual yeah. of uh, children there at SCBD. Mm. So, what do you think? Uh, how do they get the influence of their fashion? I, uh, you said before that uh, it could it couldn't come from the uh, sort of Jakarta or the center uh, central Jakarta. Yeah. Uh, Where does it come from, the influence? The influence. And what, what mm -hmm. celebration that they mm -hmm. want to celebrate? Mm. This, uh, well, well, if I see the, 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 the video before, yeah. mm -hmm. so the influence, of course, is the freedom. Mm -hmm. freedom. The freedom how to express themselves with the clothes. Yeah. The freedom to wear anything, to, 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 to put anything to, uh, uh, on, on their looks. That's the freedom. Yeah. They want to express that. So, and then the other, and the other thing, they, they influence by the, like, the trend right now. Like the whole world now uh, focus on the trend on, in, in Korea, like the movie, the yeah. music, everything. Uh, so it's like the K-pop uh, trend, mm -hmm. if I say, it's a very influence all over the world, especially those kids. Also maybe like uh, whoever it is, I mean like who watching the, the, the K-drama mm -hmm. and, and everything. So, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of a lot of things to influence them also about the also the the the, the social media like tiktok and, and instagram mm -hmm. youtube they watch youtube every day must be youtube watch uh, youtube every so they, day they depict everything and then they make it out through their fashion yes, statements yes exactly the freedom first of all yes, right exactly so they have wow. the freedom and then and then they try to to search the, the location that 
where that I can yeah, find a place off. to show off, yeah. uh, which is similar in this the, the country that they uh, they saw on on, on social media, mm -hmm. the, the the background with the uh, with with the, with the, with the skyscraper with the building, buildings with yeah. the with the with the the the, the street and the and the very big uh, uh, street. The crosswalk. Uh, yeah, the crosswalk, yeah. something it's like, like that. Building and Starling side by side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> building and Starling, what a yeah. rhyme. Yeah. 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 So we can say the difference between the Malawi era in mm -hmm. the oh, yeah. early 90s and right now because of uh, there's an influence of digital sphere. Yes. They want to express their freedom yep. through the digital platform, so they make a video for, uh, for TikTok, for example, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, through the public space that yes. maybe they don't have it at around time. Yeah. So they got it yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. In yeah, of course. So the difference is between uh, back then, we have the the, the Malawi yeah. uh, Block M uh, era. Yeah. Uh, it's the domination by the the southern kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with cars, with the with the Jalan with the, Yes, ah, Jalan Sore. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jalan Jalan Jalan. I have a question. Did you involve at a time for were the? Were you involved for some kind no. of a job? <laughs> <laughs> I was not here. <laughs> you were you were you were here. You're too, but, you're but too I'm not born that. yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so it's like they 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 more they more uh, they more classy and more with the cars and everything. So it's totally different. So, mm. and these kids like have. Uh, the freedom of uh, what you care, what you say. It's like they have the freedom to to, to express with the yeah. with the clothes. It's yeah. more just be themselves too. Yeah, it's being themselves definitely. Yes, yeah. that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. That's how the kids right now today. All right. Yes. Okay. Now we I, I kind of saw it like uh, in Harajuku. I mean yeah. Harajuku style or uh, street style was yes. not even um, accepted by the community. Yes. But at the end of the day, they did accept yes. it. Yes. Maybe this is what's going to happen with the Chitayam uh, teenagers, right? Yes. Maybe. But the, if I say uh, Harajuku street wear, street mm -hmm. style, it's born also uh, where when when the, the there is no social media. Mm. And it's born because uh, in Harajuku, if you go to to, to, to Japan already, you yeah. know, because they, in Harajuku, there's a lot of stores that, yeah. that sell uh, a lot of uh, very extravagant clothes, mm -hmm. accessories, hats, shoes, mm -hmm. and everything, full color, like, and it's changed every season, you know? So it's like when, during the winter, it's changed, mm -hmm. during the summer, it's changed. So it's like very extravagant. Yeah. And then they saw the sales staff on the store, mm -hmm. Wearing the, the 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 outfit that they sell, mm -hmm. so it's the who buy who bought the 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 the, the stuff, the clothes and everything. It's like very influenced about that. Yeah, so yeah. they they just like walking around the the, the, the Harajuku, street. yeah, the yeah. street. So it's like and then wearing uh, they they wearing that, uh, uh, they wearing the, the clothes. So it's easy to other people who saw it who really want to express yeah. uh, their self by by the outfit to buy. The, the clothes. All right. Now, I mean, we want to talk about, is it the right term to use Chitayam Fashion Week maybe later? Yes. Because we've got some news here. The Chitayam Fashion Show is a term given by netizens for a social phenomenon where teenagers from Depok, Bojonggede, Tangerang, and Bekasi hang mm. out in central Jakarta yes. to socialize and show off their outfits, right? Yes. The Chitayam Fashion Show sprung up on its own after teenagers who gather in the area competed to show off who has the best outfits? But a teenager called Abdul Sofi Al claimed that he and his friend Ad Adit created the Jitayam Fashion Week. He said that he has competed with his friends to see who has the best outfits since 2019. Then the concept of a fashion style catwalk first came into the scene on July 17. Now the point is that there are a lot of unique aspects to the phenomenon aside from fashion and quirky outfits which have managed to steal a lot of attention. One of which are the funny answers that Chitayam Fashion Show teenagers provide in various interviews. Additionally, vendors are also very grateful for the Chitayam Fashion Show since they experience a drastic rise in income. Now, normally they would get around 200,000 rupiah each day, but now they can get around 700,000 like rupiah. Triple, daily. almost wow. four times, right? Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, and as it turns out, the Chitayam Fashion Weeks is not only popular in Indonesia, it is actually recognized abroad as well and has garnered the support and attention of Japanese fashion media, Tokyo Fashion. 
So in a Twitter thread on July 11, Tokyo Fashion appreciates young Indonesians who dress up and set catwalks in Jakarta's public space. Tokyo Fashion even asked several Indonesian street snap sites and accounts to document and support the Tea Time Fashion show, adding that social media is the right platform to promote the phenomenon. The Japanese fashion media even compared the emergence of Tea Time Fashion Week with the birth of the Harajuku Fashion Street in Tokyo. They also said that the rise of street fashion in Harajuku was once considered eccentric as well and was, uh, was unappreciated by the local community. But over time, the Harajuku style gradually became accepted and even inspired fans and fashionistas from all over the world. So that's why um, our minister Sandiago Uno, Sandiago, Sandiago Uno said that the phenomena of Haraduku. 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 It's upper duku and yeah. Yeah. Haraduku. Now, the Tichitai and Fashion Week uh, fashion show has become viral and trending in Indonesia, garnering the attention of not just common citizens, but celebrities and public figures alike, some of whom have even been spotted in the Upper Duku area. Model Paula Verhoeven visited the spot where the SJBD teenagers hung out and set up a catwalk. The, uh, the video of her there went viral on TikTok, and on the video, she seemed to be waddling like she was walking on a catwalk. Well, she was actually on a zebra cross or a crossroad uh, near the Upper Duku MRT station. Now, she also walked with Bonge, one of Chitayam Fashion Week's icons. In her meetup with Bonge, she wore black ripped jeans and a black short sleeve blazers combined with silver glitter cloth that covered her arm. Her outfit was rounded with white mule shoes and aside from Paula, twin models who dropped out of uh, uh, Asia's next top model, Cycle 5, Valerie and Veronica also got in on the action. Veronica was amazed at the hustle and bustle of the Chitayam Fashion Week and admitted that she had never seen a catwalk with more visitors. Valerie and Veronica wore jeans and white t-shirts, then posed together on the zebra cross with Ali and Roy. Well, not only artists and models, public figures and governors from Jakarta and West Java were also spotted in the Chitayam Fashion Week, like Ridwan Kamil, for example. He was seen walking on the Upper Duku catwalk together with ride-sharing application drivers. Oh. He wore a brown mocha suit paired with a white t-shirt and a brown bag and a signature cream-colored fedora hat. Meanwhile, the Jakarta governor, Anies Baswedan, also visited the area wearing a suit with a white shirt and red tie along with the EU ambassador, His Excellency Vincent Piquet and European Investment Bank Vice President Chris Peters. Wow, they've tried on the uh, Chitayam Fashion Street as well, those EU ambassadors. So, wow. Maybe, maybe it's time maybe to let discuss a bit. Should we call it a Chitayam uh, Fashion week. Show, Chitayam Fashion Week or Chitayam Sit Fashion? According to you as a fashion yeah, editor and consultant. It's a very good question. Um, maybe it's, it's very nice if we call it a, a street fashion. Mm. A street fashion because it's not an event. Because it's not an event of fashion week. So because they born on the street, they know how to... Uh, they know where to, 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 to express themselves on the street. Mm. So it's better we call it the fashion street. Fashion street. Fashion, fashion street. street. So uh, maybe like... Because and Chitayam or Bujunggadir anywhere yes, so yeah. it's like because it's it's the it's the point of uh the meeting point the meeting point mm. of of these kids from the from from right right yeah. so that's why they call the the chitayam uh with the fashion week right chitayam mm. fashion week so it's better uh who's the first who's the first name it mm. if 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 people already know it's chitayam because it's not chitayam where the nah. place is not chitayam right yeah. so so it's better call it Chitayam Fashion Street. Yeah. Chitayam Fashion Street. Yes. Okay. And then and because the the, the the area also like it's direct the the, the train from the the Chitayam yep. and it's and it's very easy MRT for them. MRT stations. Yes, the MRT station and the train also mm -hmm. the Duku Atas train yeah. stations. So it's like more it's easy for them to access. Yeah. So I think it's okay we call it the Chitayam Fashion Street. Okay. Okay. It's more fun. okay. We are agreeing right now fun. Chitayam Fashion Street. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. So <laughs> next we want to uh, ask your opinion about uh, the yep. fashion of uh, JJ Bonge Roy. Okay. Roy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
We want oh, yeah. you to rate it. Maybe Let's give some see. tips and tricks. Let's see their oh, picture. This is JJ. Okay. No, JJ's All right. All right. It's very interesting. What do you think? Very interesting. Uh, it very... looks like a Fuji. Uh, yes. A Fuji in from Japan. Yeah. Very interesting. I mean, it's, it's and with 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 the Kate skateboard, board, yeah, the gloves, it, yeah, the gloves, earpiece, and the, and the, and the, and the print on on on, on mm. t-shirt. It's like more uh, 80s vibes. Yeah. 85. Right? Right. 85. Right. 80 vibes. Yeah. And the and the blue jeans also. And uh, the haircut yep. and the makeup also just just the the, the eyeliner with the cat mm -hmm. eye. Mm -hmm. So it's very something is very simple, but the statement on the, the on on the shirt mm -hmm. and on the gloves mm. is very thick about Long. herself. Yeah. All right. So, so how do you rate yeah. her? Oh, okay. Let's rate her. I think it's about nine, nine and nine. Wow. Yes. Okay. Wow. How about Bong? I like. Bonge. I like it. This is Bong. Bong. Okay. What do you think? Well, he got to wear eccentric hair as well. Yes. So I see the the jacket mm -hmm. with the old print. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, yes. With the old print, it's uh, it's it's more like uh, uh, outer for 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 the rain something right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, and it's black on black, so I can. I can rate it like eight. 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 Okay. Because Next. because they because he know how to to coordinate the black color, ah, yeah. and he plays with the texture and the, and the print, mm -hmm. and also with the necklace and the and the shoes also very coordinated. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So eight for Bonge. Yes. Now, so nine, nine and half, and half for eight. No, no, the previous one. Oh yes, yeah, it's nine. 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 Wow. Eight. So oh, that's, that's Iron, quite good enough. Thank you very much for your yes, thank presence you so much. here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me here. Unfortunately, we don't have much time right now, but we believe we want, we would like more of, yes. of talk about this. Right? And I want to visit the Chitam Fashion Week this weekend. Yes, please right. take a lot of videos and pictures, of post it on TikTok and also <laughs> social media out there. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for having me. Thank All you. Right. So see the stories will continue after the break, and we'll feature some news from the richest man in the world. Stay Ooh. with us. Stay with us.